uh, greetings FA Cup first round good that sounds wrong doesn't it first round first round see I love FA Cup but first round you're thinking about them little clubs aren't you the clubs where they're having to build little sort of stands and things they had a scaffolding pole so they can get a camera with a view that's not pitch side you know what I mean you First round of FA Cup, you're not thinking Sheffield Wednesday, are you? Well, I'm not. But that's where we are. First round FA Cup, Wednesday against Plymouth. I'm coming down with some... I know I am. Don't worry, it's not the Rona. I've had a test. Rattled that stick round my tonsils. That's fun, isn't it? Now, great result for Wednesday against Sunderland the other day. More importantly than that, great performance against Sunderland. The temptation for me, as a fan, pick the same team. Keep that momentum going. Everybody's played well. Keep them in. I mean, that gives them confidence anyway. You don't, you don't play well and get dropped. What sort of message does that send? But managers these days, this competition sort of fell by the wayside in them too. Especially these early rounds. It's like, oh, oh. Big game on TV, you know, and they build it up in week. Big game, and then two teams come out. Oh, 22 changes. It was like, oh, fuck off. You know what I mean? Nobody's bothered, are they? But the good thing is, because the international thing coming up, and the way everything else has felt, we've got a few days, do you know what I mean, before the next game. So, hopefully, Darren Moore will pick the same side as he picked against Sunderland. Then 11 players on the park, chance to build some momentum up. I ain't got much choice anyway when it comes to back four, back three, because Hutchinson's out and um, is out. And I've heard. I'm not saying it's right, it's just what I've heard. We'll see. Half a season. Um, so, Plymouth. Let's have a quick look at their. Uh, Team did a 3-5-2 and I've highlighted a danger man for us to watch out for. Plymouth have got a few danger men that we need to look out for. There was a, a lad in the first game in the league game, Broom, that played against us. Very dangerous player, completely dominated midfield and uh, made us look second class in there. Obviously they've got a decent strike partnership, which I talked about in the first game. But the player they've highlighted to look out for tomorrow is uh, Connor Grant. Yeah, not the Conor Graham that we used to have, by the way. This is Conor Grant, left wing back. 16 appearances this season. Chances created 40. That's 2.50 per game he's creating from the left hand side. So whoever plays against him out there, whether it be Patterson or Hunt, that's somebody we've we've got to be aware of putting delivery into our box. On the telly and all, ITV. Chrissy Waddle there, he'll be doing cold commentary, we uh, all the way. That's the one little fear factor that I've got because I've always just got this thing in my head, it's probably a load of com cobblers, you know, it's probably not true, but in my head, I always think when Wednesday's on till I, oh, I'm going to show a sense up, you know what I mean, oh God, it's going to be a crap game, oh God, I'm going to get back to it, don't know why. Oh, Wednesday, dress real telly, great stuff. Score prediction though, I actually think I actually think Darren Moore will pick a similar side. I, I don't think he can go against that. Even though he's not put the same side out twice all season in what, 16, 17 games. I genuinely think he'll pick as near as he can to what we did on Saturday. We've got that Papa John's in week, that's the game he can make changes, but this game, FA Cup, keep that momentum. Maybe a bit of a break before Gillingham, but same eleven for me. Get them out there, build that momentum, them little partnerships developing all over the pitch. And also a little bit, yeah, I don't want to say revenge, but we didn't give a good account of ourselves down at their place. In fact, we got battered, really. So in front of the watching nation, let's just remind the country of Sheffield Wednesday, one of the oldest, most traditional clubs in this land, one of the founding fathers. Let's get out there, get a result, get through to the next round. I'll go 2-1 Wednesday. 
then again I am slightly delayed here so this I am coming down with something but at least I can taste so it's not the wrong see you after game oh my Harris oh god <laughs> <laughs>